And Schult, the big uh, discus thrower from East Germany, who threw it into the side of the net, the world record holder. And uh, we've been saying, with the exception of the javelin and the hammer, both discus and both shots have been way, way down, and that's very suspect. Now, this fella is the world record holder at 74 metres and 8 centimetres, and was about 10 metres down, 35 feet nearly, in qualifying. And uh, I wonder if we're going to see that in the major championships, as we did in the Olympic Games, a drop-off from the sort of distances they're doing around the country. And I just hope, without uh, pointing the finger at anyone, that the testing program is working well. Now, that's a better throw. Making clear, but it's uh, a mere 61 metres to the world record holder. 13 metres down on his best. Nothing really changed in his technique. It's a long winging arm that he's got. He really is a fine competitor, no question about that. He has that lovely competitive temperament to come uh, good in the big championship. But Jürgen Schult now has 61-62 to his credit. And Ubata still leaves on 63-70, and Schult has gone into second with that. This is uh, Ubartas, the leader. And uh, the lead of 63-70 is by no means unassailable. Umbartus, the reigning champion, and he threw 67 metres last time out in 1986 when the Soviets were 1, 2 and 3. Big man, massive slab of a fella. The circle guarded by that cage because uh, this two kilogram discus coming at uh, about 60 miles an hour could give you a dreadful clip. The mental rehearsal that's so important to the field event athlete. Here's his slow walk that Paul Dickinson was telling you about. It's a ritual that he goes through. Thirty years of age now, Lithuanian. Who's to say he won't be thrown for Lithuania before long? It's gone uh, winging its way out to about 64. That may have improved his lead. It's a little bit further, 63-70, but there's only a few centimetres in it. Well, now the result, the official... Well, the world record holder, Jürgen Schultz, in the third round of the discus, still has a little way to go. The reigning champion, Ubartis, still in the lead. Very solid throw, like all East Germans. A very solid technique, and that is a very good throw indeed. The second line you can see there is 60 metres. Ubartis has lead, 63 metres and 38, and that has to be very close to that distance. discus men's final and this is the third round and he really has had some problems so far he's had two throws at 56 meters and if it's going to salvage anything for the final three it has to be this throw he's very very fast indeed oh that's well over 60 meters and in fact that could be challenging for the lead Ubartis holds the lead at the moment it's 63 and 38 and that looks as though not only has he qualified for the final eight, but he could have put himself in the lead. And in fact, he's done it. 64 metres and 46. So De Bruyne of Holland has really pulled out a big throw. Well, it would be poetic justice if this man could win the discus final here this afternoon. He won the title back in 1978, had problems with the East German authorities, and now he's competing for West Germany, 12 years later. Oh, he's such a big man, and he pulls on that discus long and hard, and that's very close to 65 meters. We've just seen De Bruyne have 64 meters and 46. Now, I wonder if that is gonna challenge for the lead. Schmidt, who was prevented from competing internationally for a long, long time, 
now back in international competition in the colours of West Germany. And he does exactly that with 64 metres and 8 centimetres. That's just below De Bruyne's best of the day, and it takes him into the silver medal position. and Wolfgang Schmidt, two throws left to see if he can wrest that lead from Eric De Bruyne of Holland. He's not as fast as De Bruyne in the circle, but excellent technique and again gets close to 65 metres. Incredibly, Wolfgang Schmidt is still the championship record holder. Watch the technique, the long pull at the end. He threw 67 metres and 20 in the qualifying competition in 1978, and that is still the record. And that is 64 metres and 10, the second time in the competition he's been over 64 metres, but still behind De Bruyne of Holland and keeps him in the silver medal position. Gus, he's been pushed back gradually by both De Bruyne and Schmidt, and currently lies in third place. Oh, that was faster than we've seen him go so far. And that's a long throw. Now, De Bruyne took the lead earlier in the competition with 64.96, and then Schmidt passed Schult. Schult, the world record holder, the Olympic champion, and the world champion. And I just wonder whether Jürgen Schult has become the supreme competitor. His six-round throw, 64.58, that puts him in the lead. He's gone ahead of De Bruyne, ahead of Schmidt. And so this could well be Jürgen Schultz's third major title. And in fact it was. There's confirmation of the result. Jürgen Schultz, 64 metres 58. Eric de Bruyne taking the silver. And Schmidt, banned from European competition or the European Championships for the last 12 years, taking his bronze medal with 64-10.